Hi everyone, Dr. Frunke here again, back with another knife review. Now I wanted to discuss a new knife, the newest knife in my collection here, uh, and a rather strange choice uh, if you ask most people. This is the Wee Knives 605i. Wee Knives is a relatively uh, new to the modern folding world company. Um, they've been around since the year 2000, but they really recently started making these sort of modern folding knives and then advertising them and selling them in the um, sort of mainstream distributorship. Um, so you're going to start seeing a lot more of these. This is the fifth model uh, that they've done, the 605. Um, and guys, I'm impressed. You know, for a Chinese company, um, I was definitely skeptical. I am a big fan of American companies. You've seen ZTs and Spydercos on my channel already. Um, so this was a bit of an adventure for me. Uh, I, but when I saw it, it just immediately caught my eye. It has a very unique design here. And on paper... If it really and truly had all the things that they were describing that it would have, it really seemed like something I couldn't miss. So, this is the Wee Knives 605i in green anodized titanium with a green pivot and the satin blade finish with the dark DLC on the flipper and spider hole. Now. One of the great things about the Wee Knife Company and something that is very frequently discussed about their knives are the color options that are available. They offer their knives in a wide variety of unique color combinations. Uh, I liked this green one. I thought that uh, it looked sort of like an OD green color and it just looked really nice with the black and the hardware. Uh, that it came with and the blade finish and the pocket clip was also done in the green uh, so they offer it in a bunch of different colors they have a purple a pink a silver a black uh, the pocket clip comes in all those different colors too the hardware is purple or yellow or green uh, I think you know each one almost seems like a sort of semi custom um, three inch blade approximately four inch handle small profile overall you know size comparison here let me bring in a uh, Spyderco paramilitary 2 something that most people are going to be very familiar with in terms of size this is considerably bigger than the Wee Knife 605 um, so smaller knife but with some heft to it uh, nice to hold I have uh, relatively large hands, um, and even though this is a three inch bladed knife, it comes with so many different grip options that anyone can really hold it. Uh, we'll get more into that. So, Wee Knives, really impressing uh, with their quality. Their other models are also intriguing, but this was the one that spoke to me. So, I ordered this uh, off of Blade HQ. Uh, again, I'm not paid for my videos, but I will um, give credit where credit is due. Uh, Blade HQ does good business. Uh, they offered this. I saw it on their site, and I bought it immediately and saw that it was sold out. This must have been the only one that they had in this green, and um, I'm thankful that I bought it. I was hesitating for a second, but initial impressions, a um, little bit interesting feel on this one. It is titanium, but they've milled it out on the inside. I wonder if you can see that that it's been milled. Maybe you can catch the reflections in there. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, it feels lighter than you might think, and it feels almost hollow. Listen, it's an interesting feel to it, um, but I'm impressed that they've been able to take the titanium and manipulate it into this style uh, and with this finish. Uh, it feels solid in the hand. There is no movement uh, where there shouldn't be movement and everything is rigid where it should be rigid. And everything in terms of fit and finish 
is excellent. Um, this is a semi-integral construction. It's two pieces that are actually um, stuck together here with some screws. Um, there are minor variations in the anodizing and so some in some lights it doesn't look like they match up perfectly but they really do they look nice um, so first impressions excellent uh, I'm impressed by the quality uh, this will give basically any other knife maker a run for the money in terms of quality and fit and finish I mean it's it's well done so let's break down the knife in terms of its different components here we'll start out with the blade I really like this knife, I think mostly for the blade. Uh, that shape really caught my attention. You know, shout out to Birdshot4. They did a video on this knife already as well. I really enjoy their reviews and their sort of colorful delivery and everything. Uh, I hope they keep making videos and keep expanding their collection. They love Wii knives and they had a, a purple one of these. Um, and they raved about it. They thought it was great. Um, and I think it is too. Uh, the blade, um, again, has the finish, the satin finish on the blade grind and on the main grind and the black DLC on the upper part of the blade and around the wee hole, uh, spidey hole, wee hole, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, so I like that finish a little bit more. They make offer it in the reverse with the satin up on the flats and the black DLC on the blade with the finished cutting edge, of course. Uh, but I like this model better. It is, um, speaking of spidey hole, reminiscent of a Spyderco-like shape. Uh, dare I say leaf blade shape here, Chinese made. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but hey, uh, it's unique. It's not a strict leaf blade, so they've got that aggressive looking harpoon wedge up top. Uh, that's really cool, and it really functions this cutout as a ramp for a finger, so you can get your index on there, do some fine cutting, get your thumb deep into that, you know, either in this grip for very powerful cutting, or in this grip for finer cutting. Uh, it's got a forward finger choil that fits a full-size man's finger and I don't feel like I'm at risk of cutting myself on the edge of the blade there. It's got uh, a different style of jimping up here. It's a little bit rounded off, but it works. Um, it's not the grippiest, but it doesn't hurt. You know, that's the thing. It's not going to hurt you, but it is functional. Especially in this grip right here. It's pretty much ideal. Okay. Um, the blade is done in S35VN. Uh, that is the only marking on the blade. I do really appreciate that about this manufacturer. They do not put any real billboarding on the blade unnecessarily. Um, I think that it keeps this knife looking very attractive and clean. The advertisement is built into their pivot with the Wii symbol there. Um, that's awesome in and of itself. You can see that you know, it's three vertical and three horizontal lines, but even in the horizontal line, there's a little edge cut out of the E. You know, everything is, you know, really highly detailed here, and they've done an excellent job. Moving on to the pivot, again, we talked about the custom we design there. Uh, it's subtle, uh, and if you know what it means, then you know what it means. The reverse is a brightly colored, anodized, titanium screw uh, with proprietary screw hardware. Uh, now that would be a nuisance except that we knives very um, nicely includes the pivot tool and the uh, screwdriver tool to remove all of their proprietary hardware that they've got on this knife. Um, this stuff is very sturdy. Um, when I took this knife apart and cleaned it up and oiled it, uh, I did not think that any of these things were going to break. Um, so, it felt very sturdy. The handle is fully 6AL4V titanium, which has been green anodized. I've always been fascinated by green anodized titanium. From what I understand, it's one of the hardest colors to achieve. Uh, and you have to really know what you're doing in order to achieve a true green. 
And so it is impressive to me when a company is able to achieve a consistent, nice green anodization. And they really have executed this well. It's a light green. Um, it's different than a lot of my black and gray knives. Uh, I appreciate the color. Purple wasn't really calling to me. I like the black one. I would have liked the black one with maybe some bronze hardware. I would have bought that in a bronze clip. That would have been sick. I would have bought that in a second, but it was purple, and that's not bad, but it wasn't my style exactly, so I went for this one, probably the most subdued of all of them, um, and I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the handle has some texturing here in the titanium, gives some positive traction. Uh, that is present on both sides of the knife. The handle is also a semi-integral construction. You can see it's two pieces of titanium that have been joined together. The gap is almost unnoticeable. The three holes match up very nicely. They're actual circles. <laughs> Done very well. And what I really like is that the hardware is only on one side. You know, besides the pivot, there's no hardware on this side. So. All of it is, uh, these are long screws that insert all the way through the handle. Uh, they're lag screws that go into the other side, and they pull that together. And it's a very solid feel, very solid construction. You know when you've tightened it to the m maximum point because it just stops, and it feels great. Um, it is a titanium frame lock. There is a steel insert in there. Uh, it has an over travel stop, but the pocket clip also extends perfectly into that place where it will stop that lock bar from over traveling. There we go. Okay. Um, the pocket clip is 3D milled titanium. Really well done. That is seen on much more expensive. Uh, and even custom knives. A single piece of titanium milled into the handle where they did some awesome 3D work to actually let that sit down there in a unique non-rotatable pattern and then they fixed it with a singular screw. Very clean, very unique design there. And again, you know, quality not typically seen in this price range. Uh, this thing cost $285 and that might be expensive to many people for a Chinese made knife and arguably there are very good and maybe arguably better knives from America and other places at this price range but I'm just here talking about this knife today guys and it's, I th I'm impressed it's nice in everyday carry use uh, it carries well it's uh, smooth profiles here on the sides not too thick about a half inch um, lightweight this is, comes in right at 4.0 ounces um, easy to carry in a pocket in the waistband um, pretty good grip when trying to get it out um, it's got some grip there on the uh, clip and this lanyard hole provides a little bit of grip right there and again the traction on the handle itself you can get it out of the pocket um, flips open very smoothly very quickly um, the flipper works nicely it's uh, contoured very well on this side so that it makes it easy to push and pretty much any time you get it to overcome the detent it's going to open quickly. Speaking of the detent, it's a very strong lock bar tension and detent actually makes closing the knife not perfectly smooth but look how strong that detent is. It just grabs it and pulls it in really strongly but it's a little bit rough to close. Um, can you spidey flick it? Yes. It's not quite the same vector as a paramilitary or a domino or a tenacious. You know, that's sort of a straight up and down. This one you kind of have to flick it out and it will go. But it does work. Uh, the thumb hole doesn't really work very well. It's kind of high uh, on the handle and if you're not careful you're going to push down on the lock bar, and my, my oh my, that makes it just about, there we go, impossible to open at all. So, 
you're pretty much just going to be flipping it. Uh, if you're feeling really saucy, you can spider flick it. Those two seem to work well, but the traditional thumb hole opening, not so much. Um, the blade came very sharp from the factory. S35 VN steel is very reliable, very rust resistant. Um, you just maintain it as if you would any other knife and it will treat you well. Uh, it has cut through cloth, paper, cardboard, you name it, it's cut through it easily. So, in conclusion, this Wii Knife 605i in green titanium is a really impressive knife. I am impressed with the quality, the fit and the finish, um, the edge quality, the ergonomics, and the thought that went into this thing. Um, it has a lot of unique design features that you would see only on much more expensive knives. And at 285, I think that it represents a pretty good value. Um, I couldn't pass it up. I purchased this and I really like it. So please click like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Uh, I have some more knives that I want to discuss and I will be getting more in the future. My collection is always changing and I'm always open to suggestions. Let me know what you think about this Wii knife, about Wii knives or Chinese knives in general, and maybe uh, what you'd like to see next down in the comments. Thank you guys. Have a